Shahab Ghazi from Australia. Shahab Ghazi from Australia says, my friend says, because there is so much violence, crime and injustice on earth, uh, then that means there is no God. What can I tell him? If you, can, you can tell him a lot of things. You can tell him a lot of things. Uh, simply, the life is all about a test. Our life is all about a test. It's the, the whole thing, the whole setup from beginning to end is test. You know, we know that some people, when uh, they lose a beloved person, they disbelieve. They turn away from Christianity, as I told you before about an atheist. Or they abandon this or that. Right after September the 11th, there was a very interesting dialogue on the uh, CNN, which I happened to attend it. So the, the host asked the imam, the rabbi, and the priest, one question. Do you guys hold God blameworthy for what happened? Wallahi, I was shocked to hear that the Jewish rabbi who was supposed to be the leader of the Jewish community in New York and very known person, I thought he lost it. He said, God is entirely responsible and he's to be blamed for what happened. And I blame him. I blame him? Blame whom? Who, who blames whom? And do we blame him for the massacre that you're doing in Palestine? And we blame him for whatever you guys are doing in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and here and there. God says in the Quran, and uh, the Christian priest was not any better. He was confused. Uh, of course, our answer was marvelous. Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. When God created Adam alayhi salam, he said to him and his wife, Kula minha haythu ma shi'tuma. Wala taqraba hadihi shajara. Eat as you wish from paradise. But don't go near the tree. So what happened? They disobeyed. He gave us the free will. Human beings and the jinn are given the free will. Subhanallah, the disasters happen only in our world, the world of human beings and the jinn, because of the free choice that we have been given. You're free to choose to be good or to be bad, to believe or disbelieve. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows people even to criticize Allah and curse religion and the prophets because reckoning is not now. Reckoning on the day of accountability, on the day of judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا In order to test you which one of you is best in deeds. إِنَّ جَعَنَّ مَا عَلَى الْأَرْضِ زِينَةً لَهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Kahf that everything that he created on earth is a mean of zina, a dormant. Why? Again to test us which one of us is best in deeds. So the food, the drink, the luxury that we have and the tests and the trials and life and death from the beginning is all about ikhtibar, test. You pass the test. That's why whenever you're tested, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is waiting for your action. You say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We all belong to Allah and unto him we shall return. You're a believer, past. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, no one but the believer would do that. But the disbelievers and the atheists, they keep raising this issue. Okay, if you claim that there is no God, can you stop what's happening? Can you stop what's happening? Simply according to the law of cause and effect. Everything that exists, there's got to be a manufacturer behind it. Everything that happens, there's got to be something who made it happen to move the spin. Somebody has to push it away, right? Or tell the table. Everything happens for a reason. So the, the causer and the founder of everything is Al-Fatir is the creator, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Brother Hamza from the UK, he's done a great job debating atheists where he wiped them of the face of the earth. And these videos are available on YouTube. He's a good friend of ours. He can watch these videos just for the sake of time because 
we ran out of time. I'm actually talking over time right now. So seize this uh, moment to tell you or refer you to the video where you will enjoy it so much. Atheists base their atheism on no proof whatsoever, rather simply on ignorance. May Allah guide us what's best. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته